Hi guys, I'm Franny. Welcome back to my channel for another Vlogmas video. Today we're talking about TV shows. I like to read, but I also watch a lot of TV shows, and I mean a lot. And so I would like to share with you some TV shows that belong to the past and that I've recently watched, some ongoing TV shows that I'm currently watching, and TV shows that I plan on watching in the near future. So without further ado, let's start in the past. There are two TV shows that I've watched recently and that I think won't be any surprise to you, at least the first one, that is A Discovery of Witches. I have talked about this TV show and the book from which it was adapted in my A Discovery of Witches review. I will leave it in the description down below in case you guys are interested in checking that out. I won't go too much into detail, but it's about witches and vampires and demons and there's this manuscript that the main protagonist Diana Bishop finds and other creatures are interested in this manuscript and so she has to try and figure out why that it is and there's a love story going on with a vampire which is forbidden and stuff happens it is set in Oxford the cinematography is absolutely outstanding it was just so beautiful to look at. The story is very faithful to the book. This first season, which is made of eight episodes, follows the events of the first book and it has been confirmed for two more seasons for the second and third books, which I'm so excited about. I don't know how I'll wait till the other two seasons comes out, perhaps reading the two other books that I've yet to read. That might be an idea, but it's fantastic. So if you like paranormal things, you know, with witches and other creatures, definitely recommend it. And the other TV show that I watched, <laughs> I watched it because it stars Brandon Michael Hall. He is now currently doing God Friended Me, so you guys can understand why I decided to watch The Mayor. Uh, there is one season, it came out last year and it was cancelled, which I don't understand why because it is so hilarious. It was so much fun and I just, I laughed so hard at every single episode. There are 13 episodes and they're just brilliant. It is about this guy, he is a rapper and he's not very famous, but in order to, you know, get his stuff out there and get more known by people and stuff, he decides to run for mayor and he gets elected and he becomes the new mayor of this little town and stuff goes from there. It, it is just so much fun. Oh my god. You guys, you have to watch it. If you want to watch something lighthearted, you know, with short and very fun episodes, you have to watch The Mayor. Now on to the TV shows that I'm currently watching. The first one is a TV show that I'm watching now, but it has come out years ago, but the fifth season is coming out at the beginning of January, um, and it is Luther. Now, Luther is a British uh, police drama, is, is that how they're called? I think so. It is about this detective Luther, he works for the police and he investigates crimes. I will say that it is quite violent. It's not really violent, but it's explicit and it deals with tough topics, you know, prostitutions, drugs, and abuse, and violence towards women, you know, rapes and likes, kidnappings, and there's, you know, blood and fighting and psychological torture of some kind, so it is pretty strong. You have to have a good stomach to watch it, but if you do, it is so just brilliant. The way in which it is written, the way in which it is shot, it is just absolutely mind-blowing. What I love the most about this TV show is definitely the characters, Luther above all, but then there's this girl, Alice. She kills her parents in the first episode of the first season. It is not a spoiler because you know from the start that she did, but Luther cannot arrest her because there are no proofs. 
and from that episode they develop a kind of weird friendship relationship kind of and it's just it is so weird and twisted and all the characters are just flawed Luther himself he holds justice above anything else but Sometimes you cannot really have justice if you follow the law, you have to go around it, and he does, but he has such a good heart, and he always does it with the best intentions, even though he's kind of breaking slash twisting the law. It's one of those TV shows where you just cannot tell where the episode is going to go, you really can't. There are four seasons, but it's kind of like the Sherlock BBC TV show, meaning that the first season is made of six episodes, in the second one there are four, and then the third and the fourth one have two episodes each only, I think, and the fifth one that is coming out has four episodes, so if you want to, you know, catch up before the fifth season comes out, like I'm doing, you can totally do so, you have the time, because once you watch the first episode, episode you will feel the need to binge watch the whole thing because it is just so addicting and every episode especially the last one in the season ends on such a cliffhanger that it's just you won't be able to think about anything else then there's of course God friended me. I've already talked about this TV show in my... what was it? I think it was the booktube giving tag. Once again, I will leave it linked in the description down below if you want to check it out, if you want to hear me gush about this TV show, that's where you have to go. But this TV show is about a guy named Miles. He has a podcast, The Millennium Prophet, and he basically does not believe in God and he thinks that people should not really abandon their faith, but try to understand that they have to rely on themselves and not on a god that they cannot see. One day he gets a friend request on Facebook by a god account and he decides to accept it because why not, it's probably just, you know, a practical joke. But he starts getting friends' uh, recommendations, friends' suggestions, is that how they're called in English? I think so. And those are people that he is supposed to help somehow and it's such an uplifting TV show it doesn't really matter if you're religious or not but this TV show is just going to put a huge smile on your face because it's just that good. There are so many emotions and feelings in each episode. I mean, even though you know what's gonna happen and how it's gonna end, you cannot help but just be transfixed at how good the story is and the acting is, and each episode is somehow going to speak to your heart in a way that you won't be expecting. It is just, every single episode is just so good and it always makes me cry. It's like, it's kind of like This Is Us, but it's lighter than This Is Us, but it's still so heartfelt and beautiful and I love it so, so much. And the actor, Brandon Michael Hall, is such a good human being. I mean, just today I've watched an interview that he did with Colbert on, you know, The Late Show and he kept talking about his mother and thanking her and he's just the sweetest guy ever. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Just watch this TV show, please. Just do it. Then there's Bull. Bull is a procedural drama. Basically, Dr. Bull has a trial consulting firm, meaning that every time there is a trial for a certain crime or whatever, his firm is hired to study the jurors and try to construct a narrative for the lawyers to defend their clients and it's an interesting TV show because they use a lot of psychology, they study, you know, how people react to things, how people think in different situations and it's also interesting to see how the same story can be told in different ways and according to how that story is told your reaction and your thoughts on it are going to be different. Bottom line, it is not about the facts, but it is about 
how you tell your story. And that's something to think about. Another TV show is New Amsterdam. New Amsterdam is a medical drama and this is about a new, the new medical director of uh, the Bellevue Public Hospital in... was it New York? It is a cross between This Is Us and Genius. I don't know if you guys have watched the TV show Genius. It came out two years ago, I think. And the reason why I love this TV show so much, besides the great acting and the great heart-wrenching stories that you have in each episode that always make me cry, um, is the fact that it focuses, I think, on the goodness? Is that a word? of human nature, how people can surprise you with how just good they are, how good they can be towards other people that need help. There's this character, Dr. Iggy. He is a psychologist and oh my god, heart be still. He is such a sweetheart. He always tries, he mainly treats uh, young people, you know, children, teenagers and the likes and he always tries to put himself in their shoes and tries to go over and beyond to help them out and just, he is such a sweetheart and he has a husband and they have adopted kids and just, his life is just so precious, oh my god, he just he's incredible and the main protagonist the new medical director he has cancer so there's just a, a lot of crying involved but it is so good and i definitely recommend it if you watch a medical drama at all let it be this one there are so many other tv shows that i'm currently watching and i won't go into all of them because otherwise this video would last for hours, but if you want to be kept updated on all the TV shows that I'm watching, commenting and the likes, you can follow me on TV Show. It's an app where there's a calendar with all the TV shows there are out there and you can comment on each episode after you watched it and it's just so much fun to have and very useful because it helps me to keep track of everything but anyways the last ongoing tv show that i'm watching and that i'm really enjoying is the rookie my radiator just went on so if you hear a noise in the background that's it and i cannot turn it off because it's freaking cold right now so just forgive me but there's nothing i can do about it so the rookie the rookie is about three rookies three people that have just become cops and they are assigned to three TOs and the TV show is about their job and how they deal with it and it's such a realistic TV show. It gives you a realistic and hard at times portrayal of what it means to be a cop in LA I think. Yeah, it's set in LA and you have your, you know, normal camera shooting going on but sometimes you also have the footage as if shot by the body cameras that uh, cops in the US have to wear and it is just amazing it is pretty serious and heavy uh, but there is also Nathan Fillion as one of the main protagonists you know the main rookie and you know how he is. I mean, it's nothing like Castle because that TV show is just so much fun and uplifting and all that stuff, but he still cracks some jokes here and there and he's still this very genuine and kind-hearted um, character and he likes to help people and he is the one that makes the TV show less, you know, heavy than what it would be otherwise but it is so good to watch and again definitely recommend it. And now let's get on to some TV shows that have already come out but I still have to watch them and I would like to do so in the near future. There are three TV shows that I would like to watch soon. The first one is The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. This should be set in the 50s or 60s I think and it should be about the first female stand-up comedian 
and there's this woman who was married who thought she had the perfect life but then her husband leaves her or cheats on her or something like that and she becomes desperate she doesn't know what to do with her life so she gets drunk she goes to a bar she gets drunk and she tries stand up like she improvises and she realized that she's kind of good at it and it goes on from there and I love stand-up comedians and watching stand-up comedians so this TV show sounds like it was made for me and I need to watch it because the second season is coming out soon in a month or a couple of months or so I need to watch that another TV show that I want to watch is The Booth at the End and this sounds like a very sinister, twisted TV show. There is this man who sits at the same seat in a uh, diner. And people who have problems go to him with requests. And he tells them that he will make those things happen, but for a price. And he makes these people do some weird shit. And I want to check it out because it's twisted and it sounds pretty fucked up and I want to watch it. This is like the opposite of God friended me. Coherence. That's, that's my thing. And the last one is the Kominsky Method with Michael Douglas. It should be the male version of Grace and Frankie. It is about these two dudes, they're like 60 or 70 years old and they're kind of in a life crisis. Thing. I don't know much about it to be honest, but the trailer seemed very promising and I want to check it out. And before leaving you, I just want to give a quick shout out to two TV shows that are starting again in January. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, sixth season, is coming up. One of my favorite TV shows of all times. I'm so excited and I'm so ready for the sixth season. You guys have no idea, I just cannot wait because it's gonna be fucking awesome. And the other TV show is Suits, is coming back with the second half of the eighth season. And I have to say, without Mike and Rachel, I thought that the TV show wouldn't have lasted, but they did some very interesting things in the first half of the eighth season and now I'm totally on board. Louis is going through such a major character development process and I am so in love with what he's doing and how he's changing and what he's doing with his life. And I'm so proud of Louis. Oh my God, I'm just, he's my new baby. I love him so much. And I just, I'm so looking forward for the second half of the season. It's gonna be amazing. I think this is all I had to say. I don't think there's anything else that I'm forgetting. These are the TV shows that I have recently watched and currently watching and plan on watching soon. Let me know in the comments if you have watched any of these TV shows, if you would like to. Let me know if you have any suggestions of TV shows that I should check out based on, you know, my tastes more or less. Let me know in the comments, definitely, because there's never too many TV shows to watch. Never. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video, it was so much fun to film and I'll see you tomorrow with another Vlogmas video. Warm hugs!